In this quick video, I'll be showing you how OnePlan extends the new modern project accelerator to allow users to use Microsoft Project Desktop with Power Apps. So here I am logged into Power Apps, the new modern project accelerator. And you'll see here with OnePlan, we've actually extended some additional capabilities, for example, like things like My Work, My Timesheets. We have a portfolio analyzer and some resource management data right here on the navigation. But for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and go into the project entity. And I'm going to create a new project within the, the modern project accelerator. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And let's go ahead and call a project uh, Microsoft Teams integration. And we're going to go ahead and select the type. So this is about uh, application development, the programs about the cloud infrastructure upgrade. And so essentially within Power Apps, you're able to select a, a variety of different metadata. One of the things here I'm going to do is I'm going to actually say I want to use one plan. So what this is going to do, you'll see it lights up the navigation to be just static financials and static resource and uh, just project for the web. It lights up additional capabilities up here. I'm going to go ahead and click Save to create this entity. And I'm going to go ahead now to actually create a Microsoft project plan. Click on Work Plan. Now that the plan is being created, I'm going to go ahead and show here how we could in here uh, open this up and create either a Microsoft project for the web, a Microsoft project professional desktop, or you could even use uh, 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 Office 365 Planner. But for this demonstration, we're going to show a project professional here. And so I'm going to go ahead and click that and say next. The next step here is I can select from um, uploaded templates. So right now I have kind of two templates, blank one and a, and a software development one. I'm going to use the software development one. So I'm going to go ahead and say create plan. And now it's asking me to open up Microsoft Project Desktop on the client. So now you'll see here it's created a Microsoft Teams integration project and it's used a template. So I can quickly make some adjustments to this template if I like. Um, you also notice in here we have some generic resources that are assigned to this. Uh, so the next step here for me is, you know, I can make adjustments, change things around. So this is going to start actually it started already. Um, let me make some changes. Oops. And then when I'm ready, I just would want to go to my one plan in the ribbon and go ahead and click on publish. Selected my plan. The next step here in publishing is mapping resources. So you have your resources in your Power App solution, your resource center. And so what you want to do is map them. And so I'm going to map uh, myself. I'm the administrator to, let's say, uh, project manager right now. So I'm going to go ahead and replace myself. I'm going to give a uh, relic here, management position. Uh, Peter is going to do or become our analyst. Uh, Richard is our developer. Um, Gavin is our tester. Russ is going to be a trainer. Jack's going to be our technical communicator. So you get the idea of mapping these resources. And once I'm done mapping those resources, I can go ahead and click Publish. So now what this is doing is taking the project schedule and it's publishing it through one plan into the Power Apps environment. So I'm going to go ahead and come over back to my Power Apps environment. And I'm going to go ahead and say refresh. And I'm going to click back on my work plan. And now you'll see the schedule for Microsoft Project was published into Power Apps. Go ahead and give a little bit more real estate here. And you'll see here's the complete schedule with the different resources being assigned. There's my reassignment there. I can add in a Gantt in here if I wanted to, to see something visual here as well. I can actually socialize on the different tasks that are in here um, and you know to get different views on these as well. So if I wanted to just look at the effort uh, or if I wanted to look at the costs and so forth. The other nice thing about publishing Project for the Web, Project Desktop, or even Planner into the one plan solution with Power Apps 
is the ability to do resource management. So I can come over to my resource plans and I could either have it auto publish my resource plan into here, or I can actually uh, import it on demand. So right now I need to build out my capacity plan. I can go ahead and click on import. And this is gonna take the information that's from the Microsoft project file and actually populate it into my capacity plan. And so now I can see what resources are over allocated and I can actually view this across multiple projects. So if I go down here, so by current plan, I can see quickly here, this is me. And I can see that I'm actually working on two different projects at the same time, which is creating some over allocation. There are all sorts of things we can do around negotiation and comparing it to schedules and timesheets, uh, but just kind of showing how the project schedule populates the resource management capabilities in here as well. I can also do financial management for um, budgeting or cap CapEx and OpEx. And so I'm gonna come over to my financial plan. I'm gonna also click on import here. So this is gonna bring in from my Microsoft Project Desktop file that I brought in. Uh, I believe it's uh, next year is where we do it, planning for costs. And you'll see here that it's already populated my financial plan for my Microsoft Project file. What's also nice about this is not only does publishing your Microsoft file, file into uh, one plan in, in Power Apps, you have the ability to build out your resource plan and your financial plan, but now you also have the ability for team members to, to get the information they need to, to give you status on the work that you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and come back out here and go to my work. And so as a team member, team member can log in and see what work is assigned to them when it's due, and they can actually provide status back. So for example, You'll see here's a task uh, to define preliminary resources, and that's for my Microsoft Teams integration project. That was due back in October, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that particular task is now complete. I can see another one underneath there. It says to secure core resources, um, and that is due the 29th, and I'm gonna say, well, that's actually gonna be a little late, so we're gonna move that to uh, the 5th. So now it's gonna be completed on the 5th. So as a project manager, I will get notified of these updates. I can come back into my Microsoft project schedule, and I can click on updates. And you'll see here now I have two updates being reported back to the project managers, manager within Microsoft Project Desktop. I can click on each one of these updates to see what has been changed. So I said that the defined preliminary resources went from zero to 100. Okay, that sounds good. I can click on here, the next one, and see that this date has been changed from the 29th to the 5th. That's uh, reasonable. So now I can accept these changes. Go here, and I'm not going to publish it back right now, but if I do that, you'll see now this particular task is 100% complete, and this task now got out, moved out to November 5th. So this is just a quick example of how you can extend the new modern project accelerator and leverage the tools that you'd like to use today. You know, Project for the Web, Office 365 Planner, and even still Microsoft Project Desktop.